You guys go ahead of me to the ticket office. We have cotton candy. We'll get some cotton candy when we leave. We gotta buy the tickets first. Two to 14. Where are we buying the tickets? Okay, so here is the prices. So for kids up to 14 years, it's 1100 Malim. For adults, it's 1500 Malim. So it's very, very inexpensive. Here. Bonjour. Um, two children and one adult. Call me 11. Well, you know what? Take my dad. Well, I'll give him my dollars. I'll save my coins for other vendors. Save your coins for other vendors. Hey, look. Ow. <laughs> so here's our tickets. So. I want, I want to keep one. Tunis Zoo. Me too, I'll put one in my passport. Yeah, one in your passport would be cool. Yeah. Alright, so we're on. Okay. We're in like Flint. I think we've got to walk around this way. Here, take these. Ooh. Go ahead of me. I guess entrance here. Just show them all three of them. What do you guys say? Bye bye. Okay, which way do you guys want to go? Let's look at the map. Those are the most scariest animals in the world. The balloon animals? Okay, where's the entrance? Uh -huh. no, that's uh -huh. So here's the entrance. And so let's just walk around clockwise. Or counterclockwise. All right. Bonjour. Uh, maybe when we leave, okay? Thank you. So, don't know what to expect from the zoo here. It has pretty good reviews online, but it is a smaller zoo. We're supposed to have a really good pride of lions here. We wanted to come. We wanted to come last time we were in Tunis before we left to go to Hammamet. We just couldn't find our way, and it took us a little while to get used to how things run in the country. But we're gonna make a good video about this day trip to the zoo, and hopefully it'll help someone out down the road who wants to come and do the same thing. Those are really cool. Yeah, those are those are probably Pekings. No, those are not. Are those ducks or geese? Those are geese. Those are not Peking ducks. Those are geese. This is one thing I wanted at our house, but we never did acquire. But it's probably good because they're super noisy. When we have our when we have our farm, we'll have geese. Our I should say our bigger farm. Are those Watusis? Watusis. Or something else? I like the baby ones. Yeah, the, well, those are those Watusis? Yeah, I Wait, think those are Watusis. Look, those are the green ones, though. Okay, blue ones or brown ones. They're green ones. Look at the baby Watusis. They're so cute. Oh, and in the back, you can see some cowboys and goats. Look, you can see yeah, cowboys. we're going to walk around. Come on. It's probably a better pen. Yeah, you can see they have Watusi. You love the smell of poop? It smells like compost, don't it? Yep. It smells like... Look, look, he's, look, he's like green mine. instead of blue or brown. Hello. What's on his foot? Show us your feathers. What's on your foot, man? That might be a hen. Aww. We like can We head. can get peacocks, too, at some point. Remember that? I don't know if y'all remember that ranch we used to go to out by 19 Mile. They wanted us to trap the peacocks. No, I, I think that's a hen. That's not a. It looks like a hen. That's a. It's a. It's a tether. It was tied somewhere, but it broke the tether. It's so pretty. Look at. 
cool. This is nice. I just want to go in there, run real fast. They don't have, look at all the carrots. Wait till we get to the zoo in Cairo. When I was there, it was 20 years ago, they were feeding, they let you feed a hippo, but they didn't really let you put your hand in there. The guy would grab it and take it from your hand, but you could feed a hippo. That was a long time ago. That's a boy. That's peacocks sounding there. Look, there's emus. a lot just like in the field it's five minutes so they're feeding some of the animals this morning but i don't see they don't have any um like boards or placards that should tell you the animals that you're looking at so so anyway we'll just make up names if it's something that we don't remember or recognize from our other zoo journeys look there's a boy back there you see it there's an antler. You see the antlers on the buck back there? Uh, he went back in the building. Look at that one. He only has one. Oh, my gosh. oh they cut his off. They got his antlers sawed off. That's so they don't fight. Look, here's another one. They got them sawed off. That doesn't hurt them. It's like cutting your hair. If they cut them too deep, like that one, they cut off too deep. You can see how it cut into the blood, into the quick. Does that hurt them? Yeah, that would hurt them. That's like if you cut your fingernails too, sh too short. Uh -oh. I did that before once. I, I, I like bit on my finger now and then it went so 